Hello everyone, this is Calvin Professor C here. So today I'm going to introduce one of the, I think is a must-have uh, apps from my iPhone um, for any mortgage agent that, you know, you want to be successful on the go. So without further ado, here it is. On your left hand side here, you see the real master here, right? There's uh, some Chinese typing on it, don't worry about it, just download the real master. So I'm going to show you what we can do with it. So first, let me go there. Again, don't worry about the apps, skip it, it's all English. So here, this one is like a MLS listing on the go, plus much more. So the first thing you can do with this is um, you can calculate the P&I payment, the mortgage payment every month like a mortgage calculator. So how you do it is you go here and do more. So you click more. You go here for the mortgage. So here I usually just type in the um, mortgage amount you know you can type in you know say for example the client buy a one million dollars uh property and put four hundred thousand dollars um down payment and borrow six hundred thousand dollars mortgage uh you can type in everything or you can just type in six hundred thousand it doesn't matter right and then interest rate you know right now the benchmark rate is 5.19 so 5.19 30 years here right and so you already see that here 3271 per month okay so that's first because a lot of the time when you're going into a function say that christmas dinner or you're in open house you know you don't have your laptop with you but you have a client that is sitting right beside you and want to know right away whether he can qualify for a mortgage this comes in very handy so the first thing is you know sometimes you need to know how much is the mortgage payment before you can know whether they will qualify for it say that you know a dentist sitting beside you and said that my income is two hundred thousand dollars per year i want to borrow six hundred thousand uh, dollars because i want to buy a one million dollar home with four hundred thousand dollars down payment can i do it now this comes in handy because then the first thing you need to do is to calculate the monthly payment okay so that's that that's nothing special but there are other services that this app provides for a mortgage agent. It looks like it is a, an app for a real estate agent, but I, I like it more for a mortgage agent. Second use of this is when people tell you that I want to refinance my house, I think my house is worth $2 million uh, and this and that, right? And, and a lot of the time, when you do a refinance deal, the property value that they said their property uh, is, right? They say, they told you that it is worth $2 million, but quite frequently, quite often, it is not worth $2 million. They kind of usually overestimate their own property. And that's human nature. I mean, I overvalue my own property myself too. So you want to get a fair market value you want to kind of assess whether that two million dollars that he said is reasonable so you go here you just type in an address you know say that it is 28 you know i'm just making up address right so it's just 28 group 12 you know for example right so, no, not Brook Street, 28 Brook Trail. Okay, so this is one of the public, you know, one of the um, area I know. So you can see that it is so here. You know, I usually go for three months. Well, I guess there's nothing close to there for last three months for sale. Okay, fine. So there. So let's go back to three months and see. Okay, so there are some property, right? 
So you can see that there's a $2 million that's that. Then you can click there and you can see that, oh, this one sold for 2.185 million. And you can kind of check out, oh, okay, this is the house inside. And this is all public information. I'm not like, this is not one of my kind and this is, you know, none of the confidential information. This is public. This is, this is a property that anyone can go check in. So this is a free car garage, $2.185 million thing, right? Seven wind gates, right? So you can go check out all the stuff and then you can go back and check your, you know, 28 Brook uh, Trail and see, compare that. Right, if it is similar, then you say, okay, well, yeah, might be the 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 guy that told you that his property worth two million dollars is actually worth two million dollars, right? So you want to do this before you start doing all the TDS calculation, income, and ask a lot of things because if the value that you kind of do your own research and find out that it is only worth one point five million dollars, then you are wasting your time because there may not be any equity to do any refinancing. So that's second use of this app. And I think the last use of this app is market rent, right? A lot of time people want to buy a property and said that, okay, the subject property, the property that I want to buy is for rental purposes. And I think that the rent for that property is three thousand dollars per month right so you don't know and you know you want to know because a lot of the calculation uh, tdsl and all that base would be based on the rent of that property right so you want to see if that's you know what it is so let's just make up another you know another uh, address so again, let's see, maybe 18 green hue. Mm. Let's just say 18 green hue. Green hue. Is it? No? Okay. Let's just say that again. Uh, let's just say this, right? So again, this, you know, here, this is for sale, right? So as you can see here, for sale. So what you can do is you click here the filter, go to lease. Go to lease and then click search so it will show you all the lease within last week and then you know you go back to three months let's say so this one it actually leaves out for for the eight hundred dollars again this is all public knowledge this is you know all that and this one actually rented for let's see for the eight fifty for the 850 so if your client is telling you that he is buying this spadina and telling you that it is going to rent out for you know for the 500 for the 800 something like that then you you probably would think wow yeah that's that's reasonable right but if if based on your research it only comes back at like 2500 then yeah then then you know you better under uh, you know recalculate all the math based on 2500 right because it is not going to rent for more than that you know so this is good this is valuable for you to do your own research and not just base your calculation based on your client's information because the last thing you want to do is you do everything you based on their words and said that okay this is for rent uh it can rent out for three thousand dollars and then you get it approved and then when the appraisal come back the market rent is only 2500 so that would screw up your deal 
So that's, that's bad because it wasted a lot of your time. And you cannot blame the client because you know what? They are not the market expert. You know, they are just estimating based on their uh, own knowledge, right? But they are not professional. They do not know. So you are the professional. You should know more than them. Okay. So there it goes. I hope you like this um, app and it's called the Real Master. Uh, disclaimer, I do not, you know, they do not pay me to do this and I do not receive any benefit from it. It's a public, you know, uh, apps. Uh, I just use it a lot and so I find it useful. Uh, but, you know, you can download other apps if you want to. Uh, but I use this one. Okay. So I hope you find it useful. And, you know, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Uh, this channel is all about helping new mortgage agent making more money faster. Okay, so see you next week.